Good morning. I wasn't planning on going live this morning, but I've had, um, I want to talk to you about some stuff this morning while I get ready. It's makeup. It's about makeup this morning. Imagine that. I don't know if anybody's going to come in here or not, but I know a lot of people watch my replays. So, um, I, I've had a couple of people, and I never thought about this because I didn't know anything about makeup before I started doing this. This is my primer. Um, I've had a couple of people say that they've watched my my lives, and they're like, "Oh, I just hope I can I can do it, put the makeup on as good as you do, and it looks as good on me as it does on you." Y'all, if you've put on makeup ever before, you can put this on. It's easier than any makeup I've ever used as far as application and the way it covers. So um, if you're considering ordering the foundation or any other products and you're just like, well, you know, it's professional. I don't know if I can, if I can make it look as good. Trust me, you can. Hope y'all are having a great Monday morning. It is a wonderful morning here. And I'm just putting, dabbing on my foundation. I've already put my skin therapist on. And I actually mix two different colors. I do Shinto one and I also do Olive one. Because I have a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink. So I do two different, two different uh, foundations. Is that Christy? Girl, how are you? You happily married woman, you. That's so awesome. I think that's who that is. I can't see. I need my glasses. That is who that is. Congratulations, woman. The pictures from Aruba were beautiful. So I'm just, right now I'm just dabbing it on and in a minute I'm going to blend it with my little brush. This is the absolute best foundation I've ever used. And it is Limelight by Alcone. And uh, it's a wax-based foundation, but it's botanical wax, so it's plant wax. It's all natural, so it's really, really good. It's actually very healthy for your skin. After you use it for a little while, your skin starts to feel better. Um, I love it. I am 100% hooked on it. I will probably never use anything else. Thank you. And the, I, I, I don't know if y'all have even looked into it. It's $36 for the foundation, but it lasts forever because you don't use very much of it because it's so highly pigmented. So it is absolutely wonderful. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on. And it's how, if you want to use like a sheer coverage, you can do a sheer coverage. If you want more of a full coverage, which I like a full coverage. It's you, you kind of um, adjust it however you want it. I like a full coverage. Full coverage kind of gal. Okay. I'm going to blend that a little bit. And then I'm going to put my pressed powder on. Our pressed powder is awesome too, y'all. It doesn't have any color. So I've talked about it in my videos before. That's one of the... One of the faux pas that we do in makeup is we'll put our foundation on. It'll just be the absolute perfect match. And then we'll slap some powder on that's either too light or too dark. And we just jacked it all up. Okay. This is our pressed powder right here. You can tell I absolutely love it. Love it. Love it. And it just sets the foundation really, really well. So I'm just going to go right here and just put that on. I'm gonna use a little bit of concealer under my eyes too. They're looking a little dark. Can't imagine why, it's Monday. 
So my concealer I use is the Zero. The Zero, it's very, very light. And I just put it with my ring finger, about that much. And I just kind of dab it on right there. And then I'll blend it with my little blenderful. I just have a little bit of dark under there that I, I want to hide so I don't look so tired. Blend that out. The best way to blend this is with a damp sponge. It blends a lot better if you dampen it. And you just kind of go under there and just kind of blend it. And all I'm doing is just taking out any seams where it looks like I dabbed it on. Just want it blended. Instant eye lift without any pain or money spent other than the $24 for my concealer. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some more powder on. If y'all have any questions about application or anything, I can definitely help you because I'm telling you prior to this, I knew nothing. Nothing. But this makeup is so easy. It's just, you just put it on and it just goes where it needs to go. That's what I love about it. It's such an easy application. So I don't know about y'all, but I have a super, super, super busy Monday. So I want to put my makeup on so I don't have to worry about it all day and it will look awesome. And that's the least of my concerns today is if my makeup is going to stay on because I know when I use my limelight primer and finishing spray, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's always good. Makeup that doesn't budge all day long is a good, good thing. Okay, we're going to use our little antique bar to do just a little bit of contour right there. Not real dark today, just a little. And you just go from the corner of your ear down. It's real simple. It's right there. I'm gonna blend it with my bronzer. Go up to my my temple and up my forehead. Right there. Just blend in it so it doesn't look like a harsh line. We're going to use our number six glowing blush right, actually, right here. And just kind of highlight those cheeks just a little. Right above where we just put that bronzer. Right there. And we can also put it underneath right there. Oh, y'all. I'm tired this morning. Got my coffee, though. I always have my coffee. Coffee is definitely a nectar of the gods. Of course, we know there's only one true living God. That was a joke. <laughs> I serve the only true and living God. And what an awesome God we serve. All right, my towel's falling. Okay, a little bit of cream boat under my eyes. Just a little right there. Right there. 
actually going to take a little bit more pressed powder and put it under there. It feels, I don't, it, it doesn't, it feels tacky. I don't have the pressed powder under there very good this morning. We're just going to put it under there. So it doesn't have that tacky finish. I like a matte finish. Did y'all see my video the other day where my brush fell apart? I don't think it's, it's the, it's this one. That's the one that fell apart. I gotta fix it. It is so much a better brush than this one I'm using and I'm gonna go back to it. Cause it's a little stiffer. It goes exactly where I want it. The other one's a little looser and it just kind of goes all over. And I just want to, I want to place this powder right under there. I don't want it going all over. I want to place it. All right, so now it's time for eyes. I'm gonna do something very simple on my eyes today. I'm gonna take this really light pink color right here. There's Judy B. Good morning. All right, so I'm gonna take this really light pink right here and just go right here on my eyelids. Just like our um, foundation, our eyeshadow is 50% pigment. And if I haven't told y'all that lately, our foundation is 50% pigment. The foundation that you buy is typically 15 to 23%. Even the high-end foundations are about 15 to 23% pigment. That's why you don't get the coverage that you get with Limelight because of the pigmentation, um, the coverage with Limelight is phenomenal. But it doesn't feel heavy. And that's another thing that's really, really awesome about it. So just like our foundation, our eyeshadows are 50% pigment. So they um, you just use a little bit to get really good coverage. Good morning, Shelly. I'm glad y'all are joining me this morning. Makes my Monday even better. So then I'm going to take my Lottie palette, my Lottie Dream On palette, and I'm gonna use this color right here, which is Lullaby right here. And I'm gonna do that just right in the crease, just right there. See how well that goes on? This blends like a cream, but it is a powder. It goes on very, very well. So just put it on there and just kind of blend it out a little. Just a real simple eyeshadow today, ladies. Just going right there in the crease, out to the corner. That's it. Now we're gonna put just a little bit of the crystal right here on the top. I think I may put a little bit on the lid too. I'm a shimmery kind of girl. And that first pink color didn't have any shimmer. I think we're gonna put just a little bit of that crystal on the lid. Right here. Just right there. Just a little just to give that a little bit more oomph. See right here. And there it is. There's your eyeshadow today. I'm gonna take a brush that doesn't have anything on it. A clean brush after I clean it because I reuse all my brushes. And I'm just gonna kind of blend that a little. Just blend it. Just a really simple eyeshadow today. See? 
And now it's time for eyeliner. I guess we can do our eyebrows first. Hmm. All I do is fill in what I have. So I take this Tallulah and, or this Dee Dee and this Tallulah, and that is what I use for my eyebrows. You don't want to make them too dark so they look like that you just drew them on. You just want to kind of fill in what you have. See? It just says, hey, I have eyebrows. And just do gentle little, little strokes. That one may be a little darker than the other one. So we need to darken the other one just a tad. And a, a tip I learned from Jacob Heiser, which is our field consultant, when you're doing your eyebrows, ladies, don't bring them down, bring them out. Bringing them down pulls your face down and it ages you. So when you do your eyebrows, bring them out instead of down. We have a tendency to want to go down because that's the angle of our eye, but just bring them out just a little instead of going down. Out, lift, down, old. Okay, mascara, I mean, um, eyeliner. See how fast this is? This doesn't, it's not, this does not take long. I drag this out when I'm talking to y'all. But this makeup doesn't take long to put on and it's definitely not difficult to put on. Professional products kind of makes people go, I'm not a makeup artist, I can't use that. I'm no makeup artist either, trust me. So, for um, our eyeliner, I'm gonna do very simple not really a line. I'm actually going to go under. And more or less. Well, I was until I messed up. More or less line between my eyelashes and my eyelid. but got a little smudge there. So keep your Q-chips handy. And don't lick them like I just did. Hmm, smudge gone, mostly. When I put my mascara on, it'll go away. So you just kind of raise your eyelid just a tad. And because our eyeliner is so soft, it's very easy to do this. So see, you're not putting a definite line there. You're just kind of putting a little color between your eyelashes and your eyelid. So it gives a little bit of depth to your eyelashes, but not a harsh line on your eye. So I am going to do my antique bar under my eyes. Cause I do like that. I don't know why I like it, but I just do. It's my new thing. So let's go right here. Put a little bit of that antique bar right there. See, just right there. And then I'm actually gonna take my liner and put just a little bit of liner there too. Not dark, just a little. Just to give it just a little bit more definition. Actually, the more trendy eye makeup is very little eyeliner on the bottom and I tried that the other day and I looked tired all day so that's not for me it's a very pretty look it's just not for me but you can do whatever you want to do that's the freedom of makeup we all can do what we want to do
When you line your lips, ladies, line them all the way against the lip line so you're not cheating yourself of those gorgeous lips that God gave you. But we all know we don't want to line outside our lip. Don't don't create lips that aren't there. <laughs> and line up here. There's my lip liner and I actually put it on my lips. I believe it is pretty close to mascara time. We're almost done. I'm gonna put my crystal on my nose. Put a little bit of highlight right there on my little nose. Just a little right here. I love highlight. It's probably one of my favorite things. Let's put it right there. So pretty. Okay. It's mascara time. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do our lips and spray our finishing spray and then do our mascara. I'm going to smoke that eyeliner out just a tad. If I can, it's kind of dried. That's one thing you'll notice about our eyeliner. It when it's on, it's on. It's not going to go anywhere. You got your eyeliner on. You're not going to look in the mirror at five o'clock and have like smeared eyeliner all down your face. It stays put. Okay, so now let's do our lips. I just recently ordered this sugar plum and during lip color. I can't wait to get it. I have wedding cake and macaroon right now, which I love both of them. But the sugar plum, oh man, I can't wait to get it. This goes on wet and then it dries and then it's there forever. <laughs> no, you don't have to use anything to take it off, but it will be there when you get home three hours, six hours, eight hours, whatever. It will still be on your lips. After you eat, after you drink, it doesn't matter. Whatever you do, unless you literally just wipe it off with a napkin, it's going to be there. Okay, it's mascara time. I've had a lot of people ask me if this mascara is as good as it looks and yes it is amazing i'm going to put it on one eye and not the other and let y'all see the difference a lot of times when we have short eyelashes our eyeliner if we put it on too thick will eat our eyelashes so if you're doing a thick liner if you have short lashes if you're, if you're looking for that thick, dramatic liner look, maybe get, um, get some false eyelashes just for that so that your eyeliner doesn't eat your eyelashes. Because it does. If you have short eyelashes and you do a thick liner, it's going to eat them. And I poked myself in my eye again. I'm good at that lately. And our mascara lasts about probably two months. But it's only $20, so $10 a month for mascara. I think that's pretty good. 
We have a tendency to hang on to our mascara forever and that's really not good because it gets bacteria in it the longer you keep it. And you start slapping it on your eyes and got all that bugs crawling around in it. So the moral of the story this morning is if I can put this makeup on, anybody can. Because it's just easy. People say I make it look so easy. Well, it's really the product. It's not me. The product is so flawless that it just... Jacob Heiser said it best. It's a wax-based foundation, so it literally just kind of melts into place and gives you that absolutely flawless, beautiful finish. Okay. So I built, and I put a bunch on, which you don't have to do. And I'm getting low, too, so I'm kind of having to dig in my, in my mascara. anyone's in here with me tell me what time it is please I don't have a, when I do these lives I lose my clock because my phone is my clock oh and I forgot to say if you hear any music in the background I don't own any rights to that music we're supposed to say that on live videos now I think I'm in here by myself so I'm SOL on the trying to see what time it is I think I'm gonna have to get out my other mascara. This is just about gone. It's just about gone. All right. Well, seeing as I'm in here by myself. I figure it's a good time to go. All right, y'all. I'm gonna spray my finishing spray. I always spray my finishing spray. Highly recommend our primer and finishing spray. And I'm done. Thanks for hanging with me. Happy Monday. Bye.